Hey guys, this is Josh reminding you that if you love your mama, you'll watch 7 6 Tuesday. Who the hell is Josh? I told him to meet me here. Hey, what the hell are you doing? They're coming to get us, man. It's okay, though. I got my first gen 365. Hold on a second, man. I'll be right down. Oh, shit! Man, are you okay? I messed myself up. But my first gen 365 is still good. That's a PT-111. <laughs> Same difference. Welcome back to Black Diamond Guns and Gear. I'm Josh. And I'm Josh. And today, we're probably gonna have a really unpopular opinion. Why this thing is better than this thing. Oh my God. <laughs> if you're going based off of just size comparison alone, they're about the same. And, and let's, let's put it this way. If this thing, as many problems as it's had, was a Taurus or was a Ruger or was anything else, Remington, they would have threw this thing in the trash. Y'all would have shit on it. Coming to get us. Just because it's a SIG, everybody thinks this gun is God. This thing should work. This thing has to work, right? Yeah. This from the factory has a 10 plus one magazine. These have 30s. These have 12s. 12 plus one magazine. As far as width in the gun, this one has uh, one inches. This PT-111 has 1.10 so you're looking at a tenth of an inch of a difference in width the barrel length on the sig 365 is 3.1 inches the barrel length on the pt 111 a whopping 3.2 inches have you heard anybody sending that thing back because it had bad trigger problems nope have you heard anybody sending this pt 111 back because it's a piss poor design nope have you ever heard of anybody sending this PT 111 back because the firing pin just decided to shear off out of nowhere after 800 rounds? Nope. Have you heard of anybody taking the first magazine out of this PT 111 and it failing on them? Nope. Well, today we're going to shoot it because this marks our 4,000 rounds out of this PT 111. And guess what? It had a single bit of problem like we have had with this P365. Today we are 12 rounds away from having 4,000 rounds to this PT 111 without a single problem that we had to send back to the factory. Just 12 rounds to 4,000 rounds. We got one mag left to be at 4K. Ah, there's no problems with that. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's no problems with that. Oh yeah. That's excitement. In all seriousness, we just put 4,000 rounds through this thing. We haven't really had any kind of problems that we would have to send anything back to the factory for. So we're just gonna continue to shoot it today and we will be at maybe, you know, 4,100 rounds through it. But uh, every time we go to the range, we take this gun with us. As you know, when you go to the range, you take multiple things with you and you shoot hundreds of rounds through all kinds of different stuff. At least we do anyway, because we love the PT-111. Dude, the trigger on this thing is, is not bad at all. Like, I know a lot of people put up that they had problems with the resets and stuff like that. The reset is not bad on this thing at all. Once you pull the trigger and you really try to focus on the reset coming out, it's actually not that far. Listen to the audible click of how much I'm going to let this thing out for the reset. It's not far from the back at all. I'll show you here in a second. One hand, by the way. No problem. Three dot sight system, there's really nothing wrong with it. I mean, they're, they're not night sights or anything like that, but if you really, uh, that's another subject. Anyway, so three dot sight system, they're white, uh, they're metal, I think. No, they're plastic, they're plastic. Uh, but as far as reset goes, check it out. Reset on this thing is not bad, okay? Well, so. That's better than anything in this price range of a, of a firearm. You, you may be spending 250 bucks on this gun. At the most, I'm gonna say 250 bucks, maybe 280 walking out the door with, you know, background check and all that stuff. So this, for the gun that it is, 
is great. And the price. Let's say that for the gun that it is and the price, this is a steal. Guys, this is like I said, the Millennium Pro G2. I know that there's a new model out. What's it called? I think it's just G2C. The G2C. This is the original Millennium Pro G2. The, we've had this thing for quite some time now. Um, I, dude, I'm telling you, I like taking it to the range with us. I mean, because it's such a simple pistol and it works. It absolutely works. Um, you know, we, we've heard people say that it's just a crappy pistol design. No, it's not. It's, it's an awesome pistol design. So we're going to put a couple rounds down range. And The thing is, we've shot this gun in our other videos before. This is nothing new. We're just letting you know that it works. Yeah. How many generations are you going to have to go through for the 365 for you to get it right? Yeah. And this one is literally half the cost, if not more than half the cost. And it works just fine. And it says made in Brazil right there. And That's all we're saying. And everybody likes a Brazilian. So guys, like we said, we've shot this thing before a bunch of times, 4,000 rounds now through it. Actually like 4,024 uh, or 4,000. 4,000 a lot. Yeah, 4,000 a lot. Anyway, so uh, we've shot this gun a bunch before. This is nothing new. This gun will continue to be in my safe, continue to be in the range bag for stuff, just to go to the fun range and shoot. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm gonna say this right now, if I had to pick between a P365 and a PT111, I'd pick this gun every day. Size comparison's the same. The capacity is actually bigger with a factory round magazine. There's nothing, there's nothing that this gun doesn't have that 365 doesn't have. I don't know why people haven't haven't realized that from the beginning. This is the poor man's 365, and it works more better than the 365 does. Don't be a pussy. And now look, reset, reset, ready? Oh, look at that, look how far that's out. There's nothing wrong with this trigger. It is a little dirty, but that's about it. Now guys, in this 4,000 rounds, uh, this is actually not my pistol, this is actually Josh's pistol. And if you guys know Josh, he's never cleaned this thing. <laughs> true, that's actually so, really true, I've never cleaned he, it before. He has never cleaned it. Um, I don't, you know, you've never oiled it or nothing, have you? No, I actually took it out of the box, been shooting it, haven't done anything to it. Haven't oiled it out of the box, haven't done anything to it. So that says something for 4,000 rounds. That's a lot, man. It's, I mean, it's, it has like, you know, put double feeds in there or whatever, but it's because it's dirty. Breaks down like a lock. <laughs> I'll show you. Just look at the ramp. I mean, this thing is absolutely just you have to get that closer piss poor dirty oh yeah it's dirty that's normally stainless steel looking and it's black so anyway four thousand rounds through it not cleaning it had a couple double feeds but that's it man look at the inside of it no oil nothing i would say almost a torture test on the pt111 because i haven't done anything to it and it's held up fine I haven't had to send it back to the factory for anything. Anyway, point being, if I had to choose one, <laughs> if I had to choose one to carry, being a PT-111 or being a 365, I'd pick this every day. So guys, go out and buy a PT-111. Yep. Or the new generation of G, Gen, G2, G2C. G2C. Put up a like and subscribe somewhere here, anywhere. It's all over the place. You know, it's all over the place. We never know where it's going to be at. We're on Instagram and Facebook. Go check us out over there. Like and subscribe. Follow. All that crap. Stay vigilant. Stay safe. Stay alive. Be having a better chance. The PT-111 than the 365. <laughs> we did that 365.